Hey, it's Brigzar. Today we're going to look at another Lego train set. This is from the World City Lego train theme. This set is from 2003. It contains 633 pieces. It is set 10027. What is it? It's a train shed. Do they not have the name on the box of this thing? I'll show you the box in a minute. But anyway, it makes this cool looking train shed. I really like it. It's one of my favorite Lego train buildings. It's got the doors, you got the double track, but it is also made where you can open it up and use it another way if you so choose. And it's a real easy build, uh, unless you're doing a live build while you're building it. Uh, but anyway, I had to go back and change some things. It only has too many figures, has no train cars or accessories like that, but it does have a lot of tools that are used for working on uh, large vehicles like trains. And it does come with four pieces of straight track, which is more than most LEGO <laughs> train sets from the 9 volt era came with. Usually they'd only have two or none. But it does open up like this, so you can see more of the details. And I think that's really cool. It's got a lot of tools. It's got a lathe, coffee... <laughs> A coffee maker, which is very important. It's got a drill press. Uh, it's got a blowtorch. It's got a vice grip. It's got a winch. It's got and, and some other stuff. I don't know what it is. And a bunch of little hand tools and a garbage can. But uh, very, very cool. So let's look at it a little closer. All right. You get a couple of mini figures. One is your generic engineer with a goatee and a hat. And he's got a, his coffee cup, his bandana, and striped overalls i mean what what engineer is not wearing striped overalls and here is your train mechanic or welder or whatever he does it i got him here with his his hand cart and his welding equipment he's got his helmet for safety and two different kinds of gases or propane or whatever's in there so that's his i think that's his welding stuff train logo he works at the shed and fortunately, the box is not one I can break down. I've been breaking down all my boxes for my set, but this is actually a sturdy box. It's got it's folded over like so. I don't want to break the glue on that. There's the instructions. So it's one of those that's hard to break down. But that's the box. See, it doesn't have the name on it. Why does it not have the name on it? All right, you can completely open it, and it makes a straight through path like this. So depending on your space or how you're doing your layout, you could do it like that. Or you could buy two of these and put them side by side and make it look closed again. That's pretty cool. So this gives us a better look at the tools when we open it up like this. I think this green thing there is some kind of drill where they pull the lever down and it, it goes through a little hole. And that's why that's lined up with the hole. So that's like a drill. This is some kind of lathe got the little knife there and that shiny chrome piece uh, you got your winch that goes up here it actually swings out to lifting the heavy stuff and you're working on trains you're going to be lifting some heavy stuff and then back there is the tool rack with some of your generic lego tools got a little work light here it's pretty neat and there's the coffee gotta have coffee there's not enough coffee in the lego world and I think that's some kind of, it's got the Octan logo, so maybe it has something to do with oil, I'm thinking maybe that's the oil dispenser. And there's your little vice grip type thing, what do you call those, where you clamp things in. And then of course your garbage can, your broom, and there was a shovel on this other end I didn't show you. And that's the inside, it's got a lot of windows for exhaust i like the arched windows and then also some of the, the gray windows now this is in um classic grays dark gray light gray that they don't make anymore which is another, uh -oh, another good thing now that just showed you that the roof comes off real easy that's the way it's designed it's like the modular buildings you can take the roof off to have easy access to the top all four roof sections are identical so you, they all slip, sit right on top of there, like so. All right. And you do have some uh, lights on the outside here. These are just little dishes with a 
yellow piece. Those are some ventilation areas. And you got lights over here on this side. And it's open on this side. And you got doors on this side. So this would be kind of like if it was dead end. This, you know, that's what it would look like if you had a, like a roundhouse. They used to have uh, roundhouses and turntables and old railroads. Let's see how a locomotive fits in here. Let's take the smaller one first. We got one of the green cargo engine. We'll just slide it in there. And just like a car, a train is a mechanical object and it's going to need to be repaired. And the light gets in the way. I'll show you. So I hit the light. Something... Uh oh, excuse me. See the light right there? I put the locomotive. I hit it, so that obviously needs to go down like that. So he squeezes in. Now we'll try the red cargo locomotive. He fits in as well. Ooh, it's a tight squeeze, but it goes in. Uh-oh. He's hitting something. Let's open it up again. Oh, I knocked the door off. What is he hitting? Oh, he's too tall. Ed Too Tall Jones. He won't fit. His horns get in the way, so that's a bummer. So I don't want to go in full speed through there. See? His horns and if the red cargo train doesn't fit then the yellow cargo train does not fit so that is very disappointing you know I actually did not know that until just now so uh, a lot of the trains from 2003 and before like I said at the beginning the set came out in 2003 uh, they were smaller engines uh, there was in fact I haven't even reviewed some of them uh, set 4563 4564 I don't know if I'll get to them before train month is over. I'll try to. But uh, they are smaller engines. They're not tall like this red cargo engine. So that was disappointing. It didn't fit. So i got to remember not to run any large locomotives through it. But anyway, I still like the set. Maybe I could raise it up one brick high. Um, that probably can be done. Probably add it, uh, one row of red. And then it would not do that. Oh, I forgot to show you the doors. You got the doors on the side. And that's if you're working on the lower part there. So, anyway. That should be everything then. So that's the Lego train shed. Not for the big trains of today. It's for the little trains of yesterday. Thanks for watching. This is Brixar.